Hola amigos, welcome back to another episode of On a Bridge on the Primus server. I'm all by myself now, which is great because there's no lag or anything. And I've recorded this episode uh, a few times, but it's kind of hard to record an episode explaining bees and trees. And that, uh, that it was uh, kind of boring, so I'm going to do my best to record in one shot uh, in half an hour. Uh, what I've done. So I'm gonna first show you all the new stuff on the base and then I'm gonna explain uh, how I've been uh, doing the bees and trees. It all started because on my train station here I wanted a green look and I got these uh, eucalypt wood planks from ancient trees but at the beginning I thought that it would be nice to have uh, the forestry trees. Uh, if we go to forestry, you will see we have so many beautiful uh, trees in here that uh, are green. That uh, That's what, uh, one of the reasons I started with that. But uh, then I thought that this train station beside a train station is going to be like a botany garden. So uh, this is what I have so far. Uh, this is going to be the front of, uh, or the, the station. The front is going to be maybe on this way. But so far what I have is uh, this. And let me show you another thing. In here, uh, all around this mountain, my intention is going to be is that I'm going to put houses on the on the side of the mountain. And then a path going all around the mountain. And that's going to be like the botanical garden all around here in here i'm gonna extend this train and put uh, maybe other wag wagons uh up to here and in here is gonna be a station for um what is called uh, the, the the cabins that you take when you go skiing uh, and then some uh, ropes going to spawn so you can take that, come here in the train station, and maybe put some portals here for each of the members of the of the server to go. And on the other side in here is gonna be everything about flowers, uh, butterflies, trees, etc. Now I I started this by myself because I just wanted to see the different kind of uh, trees, and I think it's gonna look cool. Uh, I, like something like that when you will walk around and see all the different trees that we get uh, from ancient trees uh, these are all that i have so far so if you're on the server and watching this and you have uh, any other trees that i don't have uh, let me know i'll include it in them in here uh, these are the witchery and towncraft trees i need a sapling for the silver that i couldn't find yet and um, in here we have, uh, these are the, what is this? These are the regular Minecraft and Tropicraft and stuff like that. Biomes of Plenty trees also that we have. Uh, this Magical Woods is kind of cool looking also, but when I planted that sapling that I got, I couldn't, I couldn't get any more saplings. And these are other trees from the Twilight Forest. Um... And this is gonna be like a like a path that goes all around with signs maybe to go inside and look at the trees. And in here I put the forestry trees that I'm getting right now. So these are the four basic ones from there. And then you start with the large yew wood, pine, cypress, beech, lime, sequoia that took me forever to get. And this is the, um, actually this one here is the Pecan Sapling, which is really nice. So let me put that back in here. Okay. And uh, the way I've been uh, doing the trees is the old fashioned way, but we're going to start doing in here. You can see I bring in the trees in here. And right now I'm seeing that because... Uh, I have these uh, uh, spectacles. Uh, when you put them, you will see what the bees have uh, pollinized. Uh, uh, pollinized? No. What is it called? Um, yeah, the pollinization. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, 
if you have a, a mana steel grafter, and right now I'm working towards getting the copper beach, it's called. That's why the only two trees that I have in here are the beech wood and the spruce wood. And let's see if we get the copper. No, common beach. Uh, we have another one. And oh, you will see also that when you're doing the tree breeding, you will get sometimes uh, these butterflies around. And you you get them with the scoop. Not easy to, to get. You have to follow them around. And they're really hard. Come on. They're really hard to get sometimes. There you go. And let's see if we get lucky in here. We have another one that we can probably get. Let me see what we get in here. Another one of the common beach. So is there is a chance to get the crossbreed in between these two and get the sapling that you want. But the fastest and, and these are all flowers that will spawn naturally, which are really, really cool. And I have a bunch of here, all the flowers that I've been getting so far uh, from these because I've been removing them. Now, let me see, uh, let me explain how I started with that. So the first thing you need, of course, is apiary. You need to craft yourself a carpenter and a squeezer and um, what is the other one? Uh, it's called... Um, uh, maybe it's in here, yeah, uh, Carpenter Centrifuge. So the centrifuge will help you out to put all the combs that you get and then go get uh, honey. Because the honey is very really important. And let me put, and these are uh, chests for the all the bees, all the uh, the butterflies that I get. And this is the different kind of uh, trees that I'm getting. And this is a bunch of hybrid trees that... I'm not using because you can, with hybrids, you can actually uh, modify a tree. And let's say I want a birch sapling with a, um, that can give uh, apples. And I can do that with uh, crossbreeding different kind of trees. These are the tree analyzer, the butterfly analyzer, what it's called. It's a floralizer. And this is the bee analyzer. Uh, Bealizer, it's called. Uh, in here, I have all the queens, all the princess and queens at the end. And in here, I have all the drones that I have. So you start with the apiary. And the recipe for the apiary is really simple. Uh, it's an impregnated casing that you make in the carpenter with a little bit of seed oil. Now, uh, I found a villager that it's... Um, that I capture in a safari net that I have that will give me this proven frame, which are the best frames that you can get. Uh, and there's no recipe for for it. Uh, you can get several other frames, like um, uh, chocolate frames. The, the, there is a bunch of them. Now, the impregnated frame is one that you can craft. It's really easy because you put two logs and it will give you that. So that's how I started. But then when I found that villager, uh, I bought from him a bunch of apiaries and also, that's another butterfly. I can wait, I whenever I see a butterfly, I can stop to try to get it because you never know what kind of butterfly you're getting. And I've been getting, and it's not easy, it's not easy at all. Lance Rider was laughing at me trying to capture these uh, butterflies the other day. Uh, let's put that one in here. Let's see. There you go. That's a new one. Uh, so I started with uh, normal breeding, for example, the meadows. And and you put the two the same to try to get as much of the uh, drones and princess as you can uh, on the, uh, until the princess die. Uh, some princesses uh, will have ignoble stock and others will be pristine. So the ignoble will die faster normally. Uh, and once you get a bunch of these drones, you start crossbreeding uh, two species. Now, uh, once you put... Oh, there's another one in here. Let me see if we get the one we... 
Oh, Copper Beach Sapling, that's the one I wanted. And that's perfect because now let's analyze this tree. And that's how I've been getting all the trees. So let's get the tree analyzer. Let's get the Copper Beach, which I don't have so far. So the important thing is uh, the girt is one by one. So what I can do right now is plant this tree. So we're going to go up here, plant the tree. And I, it's a glitch that it, you don't see it, but it's right there. So let's apply a little bit of um, bone meal. And before taking down the tree, what I'm going to use is the, my mana steel grafter. grafter to get as much saplings as I can from this uh, from this tree. There you go. So I'm gonna take all the leaf or most of the leaves from here to get as much saplings so I don't lose this, this tree because once you run out of saplings, you lose the tree so you have to keep uh, crossbreeding to get it a new one. So right now we have 30 copper beach. Now I can take the rest, but I'm gonna just grab all the leaves that I can with this. And the good thing about this grafter is it replenish with mana. So you don't have to, normally the, the regular crafter, after a few uses, it will die. There you go. And then let's take out the tree. Perfect. Normally I leave a, a, a few tree, a few leaves so I can take it in one shot. But right now we have a bunch of these. We can analyze are all the same. And let's leave for a second here. So that's a new tree, which is great. And let's see uh, if I put this, is that the beech wood? Oh, it's the same wood as the beech wood plank. So there's nothing new with this one. But then the next one was going to be the Brazil nut that I have to crossbreed. The common beach that it's already there with a, with the jungle. So what I'm going to do right now is remove this spruce wood from here and put the jungle to get the new kind of tree that I have. Now, that's the forestry way to do it. The new way uh, that I'm going to use, because I know uh, Landstrader is going to be using um, genetics. So what I'm going to do is use, uh, let me say hi here. What I'm going to use is a uh, Gendustry. Now, there's a few machines in here and also these industrial apiaries that is, uh, they're working like crazy right now. Uh, the difference between this one, this one, what I've done is that once they uh, this, uh, produce something, Whatever it put in here, I put this, uh, I had here b uh, before a common, so I put a filter and the common princess and common drone is uh, inserted and out is uh, without rest on, always active. So it will go to the chest and the same uh, species will go back in here and start uh, working. Now with the industrial uh, apiaries, as you can see in here, I don't need that because I have this automation upgrade that will, whatever, whenever this uh, queen dies and generate a princess and a drone, it will go back inside and keep producing this. So this is what I have so far. I have a few uh, metal queens. These are the rocky uh, species, uh, sorcerers, the cultivated. Uh, this is the common and in here I have forest. <coughs> Sorry. So these uh, kind of trees, I just put them in a chest because I already have. And this uh, copper beech tree, I'm going to put it in here. I'm just going to save one for my hall of trees over there. So I can put that one. Although the wood itself is going to be the same as the other one i'm thinking so uh that's too bad it's a really uh yeah it's a beech wood regular beech wood like this one so uh let's take a look and i'm gonna put this one like so in here put that one in there so it's exactly the same wood as this one but it's another tree so i'm gonna add it here anyway and put an item frame and then the 
sapling right there. So that's what I've been doing so far. But uh, I want to accelerate this process using bees and using the gen industry. So uh, let's say uh, if if I replace this spruce with the jungle, I'm gonna get the Brazilian nuts. Uh, I have a chance to get the Brazilian nuts whenever uh, this uh, this tree is uh, pollinized. Okay, but uh, if we go to the Brazilian Brazilian um, this tree in here, Brazil, Brazil wood sapling, others too. But let's say I want this one. So if I take a look, we have something that's called the Mutatron. And for that, you will see here, it will get, uh, I think it's this one then. Yeah, the common beach sapling and jungle. You see, these are the two trees that I want, but I can use pollens in order to accelerate the process and guarantee once I put a pollen here to get the, the, the tree sapling that I want. Now, in order to get these pollens, you will see the only recipe that show is that it's found on uh, on chess and really slow uh, percentage of success. But uh, there is uh, in Gendustry one uh, upgrade that is called the sieve. So if I put that uh, in, uh, when I put two bees, I have a chance to get a pollen from that. Uh, with the trees that are around here. But the only bees that start producing pollen is the industrious drone. So what I need to do here is get these two bees together to get the industrious. Uh, the diligent, I don't have any so far, but I know it's from a common and a cultivated. And those two I do have. So if you take a look at here, but I haven't done it yet because I wanted to show on camera and also because uh, right now I don't have, a, uh, I don't think I have a princess uh, cultivated. I think I have a princess drawn. Uh, no, cultivated I have. Uh, uh, do I have a common princess? Ignoble stock, okay, but the best to use always is a pristine. So let's use, uh, let's analyze this B. Uh, let me put, let me put this back in here, this in here and get the bealizer to take a look at this. So this is a cultivated, cultivated. And uh, if we take a drone, uh, let's take a drone from here of the common. And I have a bunch here, so let's see which one is better. Although at the end of the day, that doesn't matter because I'm going to change all these aspects in here. Uh, let's see. Okay, so this one are fast worker and this one is a slower worker. These three are slower workers. So the difference has to be uh, any, any other things in here probably. Uh, this is exactly the same, so probably here, diurnal and nocturnal, no. And in here, it's basically the same. There must be any uh, another difference, and that's why they don't stack. This is slowest and fast in here. Oops. And this is slower than slowest, so that's, uh, that's one. So this one is actually better than this one. This is slower than fast, slower, slower, and fast, fast. So this actually is the one I'm going to use. But uh, so you can breed these two in here. For example, I can put this princess in here and the common drone in here, and there is a chance that I'm going to get the one I'm looking for. Now, if I use the advanced uh, Mutatron, and the difference, uh, there is a, also a... Um, Gendustry, if we go to Gendustry, there is a Mutatron, like this one, and an advanced one. The advanced one, actually what is cool is that it will let you choose, if I put the two in here, what uh, result I want directly. Now, in order for this to work, not only you need power, but you need this uh, Mutagen. 
And for that, you need this mutagen producer that uh, is running out of power because uh, my power source is not great, but it's working. Uh, and you need a uh, gel yellorium. I remember seeing that this used to use uh, redstone as well, but in this pack use yellorium. Uh, now, uh, this, uh, so you need to put your in here to create this mutagen in order to use this machine. And also you need in here this uh, genetic uh, labware that is really easy to craft. You get 16 every time. In here I have another thing that is the genetic sampler. The genetic sampler, you need this the same uh, uh, labware, but also you need these uh, blank genes that are really easy to craft as well. And that that in here, when you put some bees, and uh, let me grab some bees from here, some drones. Uh, let's grab some uh, meadows that I'm going to use 10 for now. And I'm going to put them here. So it will break down these, uh, these bees and, and grab a random characteristics or attribute of that bee. For example, territory average. That's one. Let's see what else we get in here. And I need a better power source because it's not, it's going to take forever, all this. Uh, speed slowest, that's another uh, sample. And I've been putting all these samples in here. So we have repeated one, but have you can see, we have cave dwelling, effect none. So for example, I know the forest bees uh, will uh, give, uh, will, will, um, give you uh i think poison so if i put a forest with this effect it will remove the poison from them now uh there's another one that is this uh, gene sample species forest once you get this you can create forest bees from any other bees in the game so that's what i've been trying to get here for example lifespan temperature returns none and I don't have a meadow uh, species so far. So all the rest I'm going to put here. Now, when we have a lot of one that we're not going to use, you can take this gene sample and put it in a furnace. And it will remove the, 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 the effect and give you a blank gene sample again. Okay. Uh, humidity tolerance, none. So that's not great. So I'm going to stop this for now and put my drone back in here. Let me go to sleep again because I don't want to be attacked by any mob in here. Uh, so let's uh, grab this, uh, use this uh, mutagen here and put the cultivated and the common drone in here. And you will see that I have two choices from here, the noble and the diligent. Now, if we go to industrious, and that's the one we're interested in right now because it's the one that will give us pollen, I need the diligent and the unwary. So let's select the diligent first, although the noble is great for other stuff, uh, but let's select the diligent first, and that will generate for me a diligent queen, which is really nice. And I can put, I should put more of these. I think we have enough meadow for now. So let's put the diligent queen. And before I put it out, let's analyze. This is a diligent. And it can give fertility is two. Effect none. Okay, and let's see if the diligent can work in here, in this environment. It seems that, okay, energy required, 22 are fatigue. Temperature normal, humidity normal, production normal, uh, 60%, flowering. Okay, so the cool thing about these uh, apiaries, industrial apiaries, is that if the bees cannot work in this environment, although we are in a perfect environment because this is a plains, we can put some um, gen industry, we can put some upgrades, for example, to uh modify the humidity and there are some for uh winter for example uh, emulation ocean jungle emulation uh so there's a bunch of really 
cool stuff in here. Uh, the Sifa I already explained, and this is another one very nice for the production bees. Because the idea is that once you get this, let's say, for example, I want um, effect none. I'm not going to use it right now, but effect none. I want to apply that effect to a bee. So what I do is I come here. I have in this chest these genetic templates. So I can combine these if I with this one here, and you will see that the result the effect is none in here. So it will change one of the uh, the chromosome or the uh, aspect of that, of this uh, using that, okay? I'm not gonna use it right now because I'm waiting for to get better uh, options. Uh, one of the things I want to, to grab is uh, if you're working towards getting a lot of bees you don't you want a fertility that is really high so right now i have i think i got a fertility of three uh, i don't know if you can see actually fertility no you cannot i don't know if it, there is an option to see that because i know bees um let's see here that's weird that I don't see. Let me, uh, butterflies, pollen, sapling. No, I don't know. Extra filtering. I don't know. I'm. I know there must be a way, but because I remember that I used to put fertility and it will show me uh, all these, um, these gene samples and will show me what, what was the, uh, the one with fertility. Gene samples and here just show me like the general one. So I'm not sure about that. Anyway, so this bee should start working and that will give me stringy come which is really nice we can use that to get this propolis and honey and the propolis we can use it to make other stuff like uh, i know there was oh no it's not the propolis that i'm looking for okay but anyway it's the one from the forest the drone is working okay i just want these to have a, a, a bigger fertility uh, and that's why I, I have to keep analyzing uh, flowers. I keep uh, have to keep putting uh, bees in here, excess bees that we have, to get uh, a few aspects to change the genetic of these bees because I want a, a very high fertility on the first ones. And then once I get the perfect bee that I want, I want the fertility to be almost zero. But what I want is to use... This uh, upgrade here is the production upgrade. So the production is plus 20% for the bees, which is really nice. So now that we have this uh, diligent queen, we can uh, wait for it to make uh, another uh, bee in here and then keep crossbreeding until we get the industrious. Uh, and that's uh, that's the way I'm going to be. Uh, once we get the industrious, we can, if you take a look at this uh, uh, advanced mutadron, you will put a B in here and a B in here, but also what you can do is put a tree and then the pollen. And that's the pollen. The pollen is the part that I am still missing. So in the meantime, I'm doing this the regular way to get the different trees that I need. And once we get the industrious bees, we can actually start doing um, crossing with the, the pollen to get the, the three saplings that we need. This one here, the generic imprinter, is once I got this and I put whatever genes uh, from the ones that I have in here in there, I can put that in here and put this bee in here. And that bee will get all the attributes from whatever I have in there. What's cool about having the species forest is that 
right now, even if I run out of forest bees, I can put any other bees with this gene sample in this uh, genetic template and transform the meadow bee to a forest bee. So now I'm going to put a bunch of these meadows here to try to get the species of the meadow so I don't have to worry about any more meadows for the rest of the bee breeding uh, life here. So flowers, but it's a random chain, so you have to keep doing this until you get the species for that bee. Uh, but I think that's uh, going to be it for uh, this episode, guys. So I hope you enjoy it. Uh, let me know in the comment below if you have any more questions about bees and stuff like that. And I think the idea to put a, a botanical garden over there is going to be really cool. It will look cool. And we'll put in this place uh, all the... Um, the butterfly and the trees, you already saw the idea. They will walk around. Uh, you can walk around and see all the different colors. So if anyone in the server is building uh, a nice uh, build, because they have really nice skills, these guys uh, building stuff, uh, they can go in there, grab the sapling that they need, plant it, bone mill it, get a bunch of food from that or even the sapling, and go back home, and then you will, they will have the... Uh, the the planks or or locks that they need for builds anyway that's gonna be it for this episode guy i hope you enjoy it and see you next time bye bye Thank you.